So you guys will notice his beautiful coloring and stripes that are again amazing camouflage out in the grasslands where he is a daytime hunter. He's one of the only cats that is going to be hunting during the day. So you also notice he has something that we call tear marks down the front of his face and those tear marks are actually going to help absorb the sunlight so that he can see out over the grasslands looking for his favorite things to eat. And once he spots those, the chase is on. He is the fastest land mammal in the world. He can run 60 to 70 miles an hour. And he has something called semi-retractable claws on his feet, which means that his nails are always sticking out just a little bit so that while he's running, he can get that really great traction to get to um, make those top speeds. But he is an amazing athlete. They're also really, really smart. These guys are really smart. And sometimes it's a little hard to catch a wild gazelle or impala because they're running around free. So these guys have figured out that if they hop a fence, they can eat as many livestock as they want. Sheep, cattle, goats, they can have a pretty much a smorgasbord. But unfortunately, the farmers in Africa can shoot them for hunting on their livestock because that livestock is actually their livelihood and their family's livelihood. So we are here at the Columbus Zoo are helping support the Cheetah Conservation Fund. And they actually place Anatolian Shepherds, which is a really, really big breed of dog. They get to be about 180 pounds. An Anatolian Shepherd with those farmers in Africa and those uh, guard dogs, basically, will guard that flock of livestock. So when that cheetah or maybe a lion or some other large type of predator comes near, that dog is going to bark really, really loud and scare that other animal away. And cheetahs are naturally skittish, so as soon as they hear that bark, they are going to get out of there and go, I'm going to go hunt something else that's not going to bark at me. It's a pretty... <laughs> Carlisle's trying to pretend like he's an Anatolian Shepherd, but believe it or not, their bark is even louder than that. Thank you, Carlisle. I think he's um, telling us that we, he would like us to talk about him. So thank you, Ed.